Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and welcome to my end of the month haul for my horror DVD and Blu-ray pickups for the month of July. Wow, it's almost, summer's almost over, and what a shitty summer it's been, but hope everyone's staying safe and, you know, keeping occupied and doing what you need to do. So without further ado, let's get on with the, the Blu-ray haul and the DVD haul, the mixture of both. <laughs> Uh, first off is a new film from a new company called Cauldron Films. Uh, got this through Diabolic DVD. They put out two movies. One is a Jello, which I might be showing. The other one I had no clue if it was horror or not, so I never bothered picking it up. So the movie I did pick up was called Abracadabra. This is a Giallo. I don't know if it's a South American Giallo or not. This do with magic and everything. The cover always gets me going because I think it's upside down. <laughs> and it comes and it slides out. That's the, the Blu-ray right there. The other movie they did was American Rickshaw. I had no clue what that movie was. I saw the trailer. Uh, if it's horror, let me know, guys. I'd like to know if I should grab it or not. I don't know. Uh, next we have is uh, After Dusk They Come. It's another type of creature feature. Looks pretty cool. Bunch of people stranded on an island, and these monsters are there. They're like cannibalistic creatures. Uh, so yeah, I guess the Lost Tribe was <clears throat> like a remake to this. I don't know. So yeah, after dark they after dusk they come. Looks pretty neat. Check out the trailer. Uh, next, this one just caught my attention. Just looks stupid, but looks fun. And that is Army of the Dead. Uh, you got weird, bad CGI skeletons attacking people. They got guns. They got weapons. So, who knows? It just looks like a turn-your-brain-off type of film. I can't wait to get this one to watch. So, Army of the Dead. Just the cover alone is pretty cool. Uh, next, I got Super Cheap at Soundgarden. And that is uh, Bad Samaritan. Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts on this. If you guys seen it or not, I have not. It looks pretty cool. Uh, David Tennant plays the like a serial killer, so we will see. Uh, next is a uh, double feature from Scream Factory, uh, The Beast of Hollow Mountain, and The Nathan Neanderthal Man. I heard this is going out of print, so I found a good cheap copy online. So if you get these as soon as you guys these go out of print, the prices go skyrocketing. If you look at some of these double features. So, had to grab that one for sure. Next through Dark Force and Code Red. When this finally got announced, I jumped on and said I had to buy this. And that, of course, is Blue Monkey. Now, if you're wondering, I do have the slipcover here called Insect. This does glow in the dark. It is beautiful how it glows in the dark and everything. And uh, the whole bug lights up. The insect lights up. But to put it on the shelf, I don't want it to get all damaged and scratched. And I had the old bootleg of Blue Monkey, so now I can switch the bootleg for this. I watched it. The transfer is beautiful. It's awesome. Uh, killer bug, giant bug monster in a hospital. <laughs> uh, next we have is uh, Brutal Massacre. I guess this is like a horror comedy. So I have not watched this one yet. I can't wait to get this one to watch. This is actually, I think it's signed by the director. Yeah, right there. So you can get, go right to their website and pick this up and get it signed. With a slip, too. Uh, next I found at uh, FYE. <laughs> Brand new, but used. And that, of course, is The Call of Cthulhu. Never owned it. <laughs> Figured, I saw this, I'm grabbing it. It's an old, it's an old school uh, silent film, but it's supposedly one of the best type of HP Lovecraft films out there. So Call of Cthulhu. Can't wait to get this one to watch. And uh, who put this one out? Othelioscope. You'll see another film coming from them. They do the research on HP. Uh, Color from the Dark. Now this is the Debbie Roshan version of Color Out of Space. That was awesome with uh, Nicolas Cage. So I haven't watched this one yet, but it's supposedly based on H.P. Lovecraft, you know, Color of uh, uh, color Out of Space there, um, 
was it the curse the first curse movie die monster die those type of movies this is another one so gotta give that one a watch had to have it for the collection another one i had to have for the collection is contagion with all the shit going on in the world this is real scary <laughs> so yeah why not add that to the collection and uh have outbreak in there so i'll also have this one it is kind of like a disease type horror film so we'll see from Artsploitation sent this to me, and I gotta do a review on it. I watched it the other night. It's freaking weird. Called Dead Dicks. Don't let that title throw you off. Pretty much this guy, he just keeps committing suicide, and he keeps getting reborn from a giant vagina in the wall. Yeah, it's really weird. So that's, yeah. It was actually not a bad story. It's got a cool twist, but the ending was kind of bad. Uh, I did not like the ending, how it left it to your imagination or just left you hanging so we'll see <clears throat> uh next one i have the first one on blu-ray so i grabbed the second one and that's a uh, dead space aftermath more of the horror anime and this one's actually not bad but they do change anime writers and directors through the thing so the anime changes so kind of like dante's inferno so i grabbed this one i love the first dead space movie so i gotta get this one to watch Again, I know I remember watching it once, but i got to revisit it. Next is Deep Blue Sea Part 3. Yeah, they made a third one. And it's actually way better than the second one. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, they do nods to the first two movies in here. So they put it all together. And I thought this was done pretty well. Uh, the director followed. He loved the first Deep Blue Sea and wanted to follow it. Similar to that. So they did a great job. So Deep Blue Sea Part 3, well worth it. Uh, for my Warner Archives, they did a 4 for 44 set, and I grabbed, finally, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, the original. Never owned it, so I had to snag it. Criterion Sale, I got Don't Look Now. Yes, this is a horror film. It's really good. I would definitely recommend it. It's a very slow burn film. Uh, Donald Sutherland does an awesome job in this movie. So yeah, had to upgrade that. From Vinegar Syndrome, uh, The 11th Commandment. I guess this is like a slasher or a proto-slasher. Don't know anything about it, so I had to snag it, and I'm going to check it out soon, so I can't wait. If anybody's seen it, like to hear your thoughts. This one's a blind buy called Escape Room Quest for Fear. I don't know. I saw it. I'm a big fan of the first of Escape Room movie. So we'll see. If anybody's seen this one, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Kind of dark, I apologize. But if I go out of way, you get a lot of glare. So, Escape Room, Quest of Fear. Who knows? Uh, next we have is Evil Little Things. Uh, this DVD is kind of like a horror anthology. Uh, there's three stories. All have to do with different killer dolls. My wife and I watched it the other night. It wasn't bad. Uh, some of the dolls were kind of weird, but... It wasn't a bad little storyline, so I definitely liked it and definitely keeping it. So, Evil Little Things. A Echo Bridge multi-pack. A lot of these Echo Bridge multi-pack Blu-rays, they seem to come out, go for deep, cheap price. But once they're gone, they skyrocket. So, I figured this one was super cheap called uh, The Farm. And it comes with uh, The Farm, Mother's Day Massacre... Deadfall Trail, the original Puppet Master, which is weird, and the movie Memory. So, The Farm has five different films on, I think it's one, yeah, one Blu-ray, so you know they're all condensed down into one. But it's a multi-pack, so you never know what these figured. What the hell, why not? It was super cheap. <clears throat> Grabbed it. Another, uh, this one is Kino? Yep, Kino Lauber with The First Power. Probably adding this to the collection a little behind. Another 4 for 44 from Warner Archives. And that is Frankenstein 1970. Gotta love my Frankenstein films. From <clears throat> Sub Rosa SRS Cinema, we have Glasshead. This looks like a cool shot on video weird flick, so I've got this one to watch. If anybody's seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Ah, Graveyard Shift. I fucking love this movie. 
uh, Stephen King film. It's got a Blu-ray. Thank you, Scream Factory. It's got some cool special features. So, Graveyard Shift, hell yeah. Uh, late to the party, I finally grabbed uh, Hellway, Highway to Hell. It's been sitting on my Amazon wish list forever, so I figured, fuck it, I'm grabbing it. This one I found, now this is out of print, I did pre-order the box set, but I saw this at, at Soundgarden for $5.99, I said, pick it up, because it's a cool little collector's item. Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X on Blu-ray. This is the German release, the only way you can get these on Blu-ray was this release. Figured, why not? <laughs> and I can just hold on to it for now or trade, who knows, down the road. We will see. But for that price, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, next from Unearthed Films. And that is called Junk. This looks like a cool uh, Asian zombie film. Haven't watched it. If you guys seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. And another uh, anime. Found an old school anime. I think this is from the 90s. Called... Uh, Chimera. It's like a 90s Lovecraft style anime. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you've seen this one, this one looks really interesting. I heard mixes, mixed opinions, but that's anime. <laughs> Next up, Lizard, Lizard's Leg and Owl... Owlet's Wing. This is just a weird fucking ass title. I guess this was a TV um, movie or TV show appearance. It was on the network. It's got interviews with uh, Lon Chaney on here, Boris Karloff. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of weird stuff to it. And uh, it says it's a special arrangement with Shout Factory, even though Shout Factory is not on the, on the side here. So I don't know if this is a legit copy. Supposing it is, yeah, it's a legit copy, so I have no clue. This looked pretty interesting. Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney, Peter Lorre, so yeah, who knows? <clears throat> Have I seen it? I'd like to hear your thoughts. <coughs> Finally found this used for an awesome price. Uh, I just never owned it. That is the complete Metropolis. This is from Kino Lauber. And I'm probably having this one finally in the collection. For some reason, the Blu-ray goes for an insane amount of price. So I said, I'm buying it now because I found a, a great used copy for an awesome price. All right, next we have from... Is that on the disc? From Morbid Visions. He finally released his short tales called Morbid Tales. Uh, again, sorry for the glare. Uh, there you go, right there. You can get this on eBay through his web store. So go to eBay, look for Morbid Tales on DVD. If you're a big fan of, you know, Cryptic Plasm, Bone Sickness, uh, Blood Pigs, those type of movies are very gory, awesome. This is his shorts, so had to grab it. So again, go on to Amazon and buy it. Support independent film, for sure. Another upgrade for <coughs> um, Warner Archive from the 4 for 44. Uh, Mystery of the Wax Museum. I had the old DVD, so I'm definitely upgrading this to the blue. From, it was a Scorpion and Ronan, The Night Visitor. Another blind buy. Said so that looks really awesome. Can't wait to check it out. I love this movie, so I grabbed the Rift Tracks edition of Octoman. So this is kind of like the Mystery Science Theater 3000. But it's Rift Tracks people doing it who did Mystery Science. So, yeah. If you love Octoman like me, you're going to love that. Another Vinegar Syndrome called Old Dracula. No clue. So, yeah, that's going to be a blind buy for me. Can't wait to check that one out. <sighs> yep, I bought it. And this movie from Wild Eye, the trailer just looks funny as fuck. And I'm just like another turn your brain movie off. Ouija Shark. Yes, I bought Ouija Shark. So, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Next, uh, from the Criterion sale, I didn't own it. And on the podcast for Cinema Attack, we're covering some, uh, some <coughs> Del Toro films. I finally grabbed Pan's Labyrinth. For some reason, I never owned it. Love this movie. 10 out of 10 for sure. 
great atmosphere. The whole fantasy slash um, war movie slash horror film. It's a fantastic film. Uh, another anime called The Pet Shop of Horrors. Uh, this is like an anthology, kind of. There's only four episodes. It goes right back to back. People go into this so-called pet shop. And they get these weird pets. They look like humans. But they have rules. And, of course, they break the rules. And all of a sudden, yeah, death occurs. Oh, I forgot to show off. Damn it. Well, better late than never. Yep, I have it on the side. I finally grabbed... The Lenzi Box Art Collection. This has Orgasmo, So Sweet, So Perverse, A Quiet Place to Kill, and Knife on Ice. This is a Severn awesome box set. I know people have done the unboxings before, so I'm not going to do an unboxing on it. Forgot to put that in the, the proper list, so eh, better late than never. Solid, awesome, thick box, but Severn does an awesome job with their box sets. So some more Giallos. And other stuff there. <clears throat> From another Scorpion releasing, I uh, got The Return. This was a fun little, almost like a slasher slash science fiction horror film. A lot of weird shit going on, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. From Full Moon, got Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity. So, who knows? Uh, figured why not. You know when 2020 sucks is when Snow Shark gets a Blu-ray. Yes, Snow Shark has a Blu-ray. So fucking weird. I know the DVD's hard to find and out of print. And you know how bad it is? I freaking upgraded to a Blu-ray of Snow Shark. Yeah. Also, yeah, from Scorpion, they had it on sale. I finally found a copy and I bought it because it's out of print. And that's Sorority House Massacre. This is like if Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween had a kid together, you get this movie. So I'm finally adding this to the collection. Uh, I think it was on Ronin. Ronin had it on their website, and I grabbed it. I was like, ooh. So check their site. It was either Ronin or uh, Dark Force. So it's one of those two that had it on there. Definitely grabbed it for sure because it's out of print and hard to find. Uh, next, I found it at Soundgarden. Super cheap. Signed edition of Space Babes from Outer Space. Uh, another sci-fi. Could be horror, could be not. Could be a mix. One of those independent films. I never had it from the uh, the Kickstarter. I missed out. So now I finally found a copy. Someone brought it over. But I grabbed Sphere. Another one from like 98 that I was missing. Like I have Event Horizon, Deep Blue Sea, Deep Rising, all those. But never owned Sphere. Just completely forgot and blew my mind. How I do this was like super cheap for five bucks. I said, what the hell, why not? It just looks so bad. It's called Super Hell, the Johnny Walker Collection. This is an actually loaded uh, two-disc Blu-ray setup. It's got uh, <clears throat> the Super, Super Hell Collection on disc one. All three Super Hill films on one disc. What more could you ask for? Hmm. Uh, disc 2, The Perverted Collection. How about more sick and twisted shit like Deflowered, Sick Perverse, uh, something on a cough, in a coffin, Bloody Death Curse, and The Ghost of Providence Woods. <laughs> so this thing is loaded. For five bucks, why not? If it's shit, well, I spent five bucks and, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, who knows? If everybody's seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh, this finally got a Blu-ray. Never had the DVD. It was out of print. So I figured out. Even the DVD kind of... It just looked weird to me. So I never bothered. Kicked myself. I should have. Because after watching this, I loved it. And that is The Taking of Deborah Logan. Yeah. Awesome film. Uh, it's a found footage flick. If you're into found footage, you're going to love this movie. I definitely recommend it. Especially if you're not into found footage. Love. Check it out. It's freaking good. Another anthology for, I think this is a Hammer film, that is Tales That Witness Murder. This was a lot of fun. We, my wife and I watched this one, some good stories. Donald Pleasance is in it, and uh, some pretty cool shit going on. So definitely check out this film, Tales That Witness Madness. 
Yeah, it's like a uh, invisible tiger, time travel, <clears throat> and there was a cannibal luau, and what was the other one? Shit. Oh, it's like kind of weird plant tree, killer tree movie section in it. All right, another independent film. This one just looks fun as hell. <coughs> called Tapeworm Two. There is no Tapeworm One, so just Tapeworm Two. Because I asked the director, I go, "Is there a part one? Do I have to? Is there a one before I watch this?" He goes, "No." So Tapeworm Two, just went on Google, looked for it, and I found the director and found his website. Yeah. Comes with this really cool neon green uh, disc case. So yeah, independent films right here. They're always a lot of fun. Tapeworm 2. Uh, the Taste of Dracula. Found it cheap on Amazon. Snagged it. <coughs> Never owned it. Upgrade of 13 Ghosts. I like this one. I thought they did a good job with it. It's Some parts a little rough, but it's still a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend 13 Ghosts. I know it has the reverse, but I kept that because I just liked all the, the ghosts shown on the cover. So, yeah, that's all of them. One steel book. And Tigers Are Not Afraid. I haven't watched this one yet. I've heard really good things on it. I'd like to hear your thoughts. So let me know if you've seen Tigers Are Not Afraid. I guess there was no other Blu-ray, just a steel book. They had a DVD and just steelbook, so I said, fuck it, I'll grab the steelbook. Twist my arm. <clears throat> the last of the Warner Archives, two on a guillotine. Don't know anything about it. Said, well, to get the four for 44, this was the fourth. I finally upgraded my DVD of Urban Legends Final Cut. Why not? I had the first one on blue, get the second one on blue. Another upgrade, War of the Worlds from Criterion. Oh, I can't wait to bust this one out. Supposedly they removed all the cords and all the wires from it. So, of course, Criterion does an awesome job. Love War of the Worlds. I have the TV show. I have the anime. <clears throat> I gotta grab the... I guess there's a War of the Worlds 2. It takes, it takes place in the future a little bit. So if anybody's seen that, if it's worth grabbing. But other than that, I love War of the Worlds. Now, I mentioned that H.P. Lovecraft, oh, was it Ophelioscope Company released? Well, this is their next movie called uh, The Whisper in Darkness, another H.P. styled film. I think it's shot in black and white, but this one is speaking about speaking language. So I can't wait to get this one to watch. I heard really good things about this one and The Call of Cthulhu. So if you're big into H.P. Lovecraft like I am, I can't wait to check that out. And last but not least, Amazon had this for like 12 bucks. It's a screen factory that I don't own. So screw it. Called Zombie High. So check your Amazon. You never know. You might find some cheap screen factories. Because again, once they sell out, you're paying super high prices. It's insane. Alright guys, that is my haul for my pickup for the month of July. Okay guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Your thoughts on these movies, the ones I've seen or not seen. And uh, please, if you haven't, like and subscribe. And check out the rest of my uh, videos. I will be putting some more movies, uh, more movies, more videos out. I've been slacking, just been tired from at work. And with all the COVID shit happening, I just need to make more YouTube fun. Have fun doing YouTube, a lot of good stuff. I'll be back to doing more reviews because I've been slacking on that big time. But I've been keeping track of what I want to do for my 31 days of horror. So stay tuned for that as well. So yeah, more reviews coming, more videos. And again, I hope everyone's staying safe and doing what they need to do. Thanks again very much for watching. And please make some comments. Love to read them and reply. Later, guys. Peace.